They had put up this rock wall that was about 40 feet tall that you could pay $7 and climb. And we're walking through and my little four-year-old tiger looks at me and he says, Papa, I want to climb that wall. And I remember thinking in my heart, I was like, he's way too young for that wall. There's, there's no way. So I tried to encourage him to go do something I knew he could do. But he was persistent. And if you know Tiger, he's very persistent. And Tiger, <laughs> Ursula's laughing. And, 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 and he won. I finally was like, yeah, buddy, let's, let's give it a shot. And we go to the wall, and the, the guy harnesses him up, and he gets on the wall. And I'm like, this, isn't, this is going to be over in a second, right? Because this is like a big kid activity. My son shoots 35 feet up on this wall. I'm blown away. And there he is at the top of the wall, almost, but the wall inverts out. It's like the expert part of the wall. It's a negative, right? And, and, and he gets there and he looks down to me and, he, and he's stuck and he looks down and he says, Papa, I can't. I'm like, how do, what's the right thing to say as a dad? <laughs> It's the right thing to say. It's okay, buddy. You tried. I was like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> really good. I'm a, I'm a great dad. <laughs> and he starts to let go when the guy who's just, who harnessed him up, who's working the rock wall, he looks over at me and he goes, hey, I think your boy can do it. He looks back up at my son and he says, hey, little man, Try again. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. My little boy, with the newfound hope given to him by the stranger at the rock wall, grabs a hold of the wall, and with all of his strength and total focus and determination, makes it to the top smashes the button, lights go off, everybody's celebrating. He comes back down the wall and everybody's cheering and clapping and he walks over to me and I high-fived him and I, I was gonna say I knew you could do it, <laughs> but I didn't. I was just like, you rock. And we're celebrating him and this guy next to me is like, man, that's your boy, you must be so proud. And I was like, yeah, and we get to talking and he says, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm a motivational speaker. <laughs> sure. Not a very good one, apparently. So, This guy can be a moment maker, and he's, a, he's, he's just working the rock wall, right? He's a, a stranger working the rock wall, and he's a moment maker for my son. Now, I can't tell you what role that moment has played in my son's life, but what I can tell you is this. Right now, my son is on the elite rock climbing team in Austin, Texas. And I believe in my heart that that man, that stranger, played a role in encouraging my son and believing in himself and trying again, which is one of the greatest lessons that we can teach. Now, why is it that my own flesh and blood, my own son, somebody that I swore I would never do that to, I would always believe in, why is that? And then it hit me. We often treat people as we remember them, not as who they've become or who they could become. We also treat our moments like they were, but not like they could be, not like their potential 